Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, and I am coming back at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In today's video, we're going to continue with our store news update. And in today's store news, uh, normally, if you haven't been to one of those, what I do is I touch on normally five subjects. Uh, what I'm working on, what I've completed, uh, what kind of product I might have gotten in, also uh, what kind of supplies I got in for the store or myself, and then also finally we talk about some news that might be out there uh, that some of you might have missed. Now, usually the news that I talk about is stuff that's pertinent to me and my channel, uh, my gaming community, my gaming uh, the games I play so you won't see me talking about Pokemon or something like that because I don't play that all right let's talk about what I finished well uh, it's been a it's been a minute but I have finished the SS infantry those are finished uh, and I'm still uh, moving on from them going to the uh, the next commission but I did finish the SS infantry as well as the the his anti tank platoon I have also finished those uh, and that I think was a week ago uh, I might even mention that in the last video so uh, let's talk about what I am working on well I'm working on uh, a French Peninsula War uh, French Army, it's the starter box that you get from Warlord Games. Um, it has uh, four battalions, a cavalry unit, a gun, and a general. Well, uh, there's an actually, there's an extra cavalry figure because when you add the metal figure into the unit, basically... Uh, instead of just 12, now I've got 13. So I went ahead and based this guy up separately uh, so that he could be used as another brigade commander. He could be used as a messenger or an ADC. Or if uh, he, if this customer winds up getting more cavalry in the future, uh, he could throw this into the unit. He could throw it in the unit anyway, but... Um, all right, so I'm working on that, and I'm also working on my uh, late Republican Romans, the Marians, uh, Caesar's 10th Legion and all that, kind of in between the scenes. So I'm not really working on them. I'm kind of getting them ready to be worked on. So those are, uh, they're on the shelf on popsicle sticks, uh, ready to go. You know, so that's really what I'm working on on those. And and I'm going to talk a little bit about, which I think I might have talked about on a different video, but uh, we're going to talk about this in just a second. Supplies. Okay. Well, part of the supplies is I did get my little big men order in, and we'll, we'll talk about the little big men order. I also got in some more extra thin glue uh, because this has been working really well I'm very surprised and I just learned how to use this uh, using the capillary action and all that but this is quick setting and I deliberately went and and what I'm experiencing with this is I will put it on because you can't use the capillary action on everything right because the initial seal to hold it in place, I needed, uh, like on the neck, let's say, I would put glue down inside the neck, take the head and stick it onto the neck. And then once I felt like it was uh, held securely, then I would go in and do the capillary uh, around the gaps to get it, and then to get it to seal, right? Um, but, when I put the extra thin quick setting on the neck and I grab the head and I come back, it's already dry, right? Literally, it dries that fast. So I decided to get some extra thin 
not quick setting, uh, not never been opened, so I don't know. Uh, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to do a little test on some plastic to see if uh, it doesn't dry super fast, right? Uh, and then I can always come back later with this or this and do capillary action because these are both basically the same old, same old. So we'll be trying that. Okay, so I got I got this uh, Tamiya cement, which has been the the other one. The quick setting's been working really well, so uh, so I wanted to try the non quick setting. Um, also, I got these little big men decals, and finally, the the week previously I had gotten Talus, right? And I don't know if my autofocus is on. But you can kind of see how small uh, those stones are, right? Those stones are like really good, extremely good for like gravel or uh, ground cover on the base of a figure or on some terrain. It's great, but it's not rocks. It's kind of like... This would be, it's too small. It's like texture, all right? So not realizing that, I mean, I ordered like the biggest, thickest talus I could get, or not talus, ballast. And I didn't realize that I didn't want ballast. This is, this is almost not what I, it, it's really not what I wanted. I wanted talus apparently so this is talus right there and this is a uh, medium right so they even make a, a more coarse talus now you can see how big that is i don't know if you can really compare the two but you can see one looks like ground cover like almost flock and the other one looks like stones right and so the talus what i like to do with my talus sometimes i'll sprinkle it on separately uh, on a figure base like just two or three little stones and then put the grass and stuff on there and then uh sometimes i'll just take talus like a big bowl full of it and I'll mix it in with my flock and so when I go to flock my bases random stones will fall out and it'll be more of a natural look some bases will have stones some bases won't etc so um, it just depends on the mood how, how I want to do it but okay so I did get the talus the little big men decals the glue I also got in uh, I received some product right okay orders we're gonna we're still gonna talk about this okay while we're talking about little big men let's talk about that um this is part of product actually too so or supplies okay however you want to look at it um this has two decal sheets in it it might but i don't care i'm just gonna pull one of these decal sheets out okay so this is a decal for Republican Roman shield, uh, old glory, right? Um, this is a decal sheet for Republican Roman forged in battle. So when you compare the two, you can see that one is way thicker than the other, right? Um, and I noticed this on my forged in battle miniatures. Uh, I already used one Old Glory sheet on my Forged in Battle, not realizing that, or actually unable to order this, I was kind of in a panic, and so I just used Old Glory decals. And what I did was I just trimmed a little bit off of the outer edges and stuck it on there. It works, but it's not... I mean, it looks okay. Unfortunately, I know I'm not an okay kind of person. I want it to look good. So I will probably, I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm going to clean those off or scrape those off or remove them. 
but I'm, I'm considering it because there's more than enough decals on this sheet to be able to do both legions. But I think I just wanted, I'll probably just do one and leave the other decals on. Uh, and I might use some of the microsol to kind of press it, whatever. You'll see it when it's completed. Uh, plus, I haven't put any paint on it, so it kind of looks jank with the white border and all that. But, uh, but okay. So that's the little big men product. Okay, so I did receive my Plastic Soldier Company order. I've got that in. Uh, that's all posted on the eBay store. So if you're interested in Plastic Soldier, go check that out. Also, I received my second Old Glory order. Uh, as you know, I had ordered a second order that I've been waiting for, and it had um, it had some like battle groups in it. Um, a lot of Carthaginians. It had Carthaginians. It had uh, Swiss. So I got like handgunners, crossbowmen, pikemen, halberdiers, mounted crossbowmen. So I got some Swiss. I got some Carthaginians, which actually had a couple of units that I don't know what they are. Lily Phoenicians and Ligurians. I got those. Uh, in addition to a few others. Numidian Cab, Numidian Javelinmen, and African Spearmen. Uh, and African Spearmen in Roman uh, garb. So that's cool. Uh, in addition to that, I got some Napoleonics in. I... I got some British in, uh, Dutch Belgian Carabineer, um, some old, some French Old Guard, and uh, some Cuirassier. Basically, just a, a smattering of a variety of different things that I was low on, so I just restocked. Uh, but all those, finally, it took me a few days, but I got them all uploaded, so they're on the store. Hobby Link. So I got the talus in, right? That, um, but I also, in addition to the, the talus, I also got in some Oathmark and some Frostgrave miniatures, and those are up as well. I've already posted them. Okay, um, and the only reason why I ordered, normally I don't order those through Hobby Link, uh, but they had a couple of out of print boxes. And they also had a sale. I guess they were, because they're out of print, they put them on sale to get rid of them. So I got those up there. Okay, now in product-wise, I do have an order in for V&V, right? V&V uh, resin 28 millimeter uh, miniatures. And I'm still waiting, right? I don't, don't know exactly... It's it's probably been a, probably been a month since I ordered. I mean, the last time we did this video, I put the date up that I ordered. I'm not going to do that this time. But uh, I think it's maybe three weeks. It's either three or four weeks. Maybe it's three weeks. But I've uh, I'm still waiting for those. Uh, but because they look really good on their website, and uh, I saw a video of a guy do a V&V elephant, and it looked really good when he was completed. Uh, so I thought maybe I could grab a few of these just to see the quality. And uh, if I like their quality, then I will put in a, a retail order for them. So I'll carry V&V here in the store. Uh, but if they're no good, we'll do a, we'll do a review on the on the channel so you'll see what I'm talking about. And if they're good i'll order some more if they're not good then i won't right okay well vnv sent me an email last night on a on an unrelated topic he sent me an email saying that they have now started producing metal metal miniatures uh and they started with 100 years war i think is what he said uh so I haven't had a chance to check that out, but I plan to check that out. Uh, more news. Uh, we have a sale going on right now. 10% off of anything on the painted side. Uh, so I've got painted miniatures like my 
15 millimeter World War II, 28 millimeter World War II, 28 millimeter sci-fi and fantasy, mostly fantasy. I don't think I've got any sci-fi over there. I got some American War of Independence, Napoleonics. Basically, I've got some painted model. Oh, I got some 28 millimeter tanks too. But uh, in addition to what I've painted, I also put on like D and D models, soft, you know, the plastic D and D models that you buy in a blister and they come pre-painted. Well, I've got those. Anything that I've got up there, those are all on sale as well because I consider those painted. You know, even if I didn't do the painting, and uh, I got a building and also some like hedges and trees and brick walls, stone walls actually. Well, yeah, stone walls. I might not have put the stone walls and the hedges on the sale because I just uploaded those again. Or oh, they might be auction. No, wait. Because none of the auction stuff is going to be on sale. Uh, but anyway, any of that is 10% off. And that's going to go on till I think the 8th of December. And then we'll have our Christmas sale. I don't know what it'll be. Um, yeah, so take advantage of that. Um, okay, now Old Glory webs. This is we're in the news section right now. Old Glory, the Old Glory website. Uh, if you shop at Old Glory Fifteens, uh, they extended their ancient sale. I don't know when till, but I got an email saying that it's extended. Also, I got an email from Warlord Warlord Games. Um saying that the prices on their websites are inaccurate uh, for some viewers, right? It's not for everybody. But they, they recommend clearing your browser history and then going back to the website because you might have an old price or something on your screen because your cookies, you know, used your cookie instead of uh, the actual website. So refresh that. Uh, so that's Warlord. Now, War Games Atlantic, uh, they sent me an email saying that if you join the tribe, which I assume is their club, whatever club they have, but if you join their tribe, you get 60% off their miniatures. And I was like, oh my God, that's awesome. Who who doesn't want 60% 60, 60 off? So I went to the, I went to look at it, and that's not what it is. If you join the tribe, you get 60% off of their digital files. So if you've got a 3D printer, you can buy the digital files from War Games Atlantic and print your own miniatures, right? Um, and that's what that sale is. Okay, but that's me on the uh, War Games Atlantic. Uh, final thing I want to say is my Harn campaign has come to a close. I've ended it. I am putting together a Traveler campaign. I've got some players interested. We got them on their Discord. And uh, I'm still looking for more players. So if you're interested in a Traveler campaign... Um, I have a couple of players that have only mobile data, so I'm afraid they are going to struggle. And so we'll figure that out um, going forward. But uh, I'm still putting together the Traveler campaign. We're going to be playing Mongoose 2nd Edition uh, 2002 update. 2022 update. And then I will... Um, I still have to upload a lot of data and characters and, and all kinds of stuff to my Roll20 before we get started. So I'm looking at maybe two to three weeks from now we get started making characters. So um, look forward to that. All right, guys. Thanks for coming out and checking out this video. And I'll catch you in the next one.